My name is Patrick Bach and I am the executive producer for Battlefield 3. And uh, now we're going to look at me trying to play uh, one of our maps, Grand Bazaar, which is one of our more tight infantry focused maps uh, in Battlefield 3. Um, in general, the game is, uh, we try to vary the game as much as possible. Uh, both when it comes to you know, weapons and vehicles and classes, but also when it comes to environments and, and sizes of environments. You can see this is, there are some really tight uh, areas in this map. Uh, try to avoid, to, I can avoid dying here. Uh, and we want it to be a very dynamic environment so that we... Oh, there you go. I'm now disarming the MCOM station. There we go, and I got a lot of points for that. So we have a lot of um, uh, awards for uh, more pacifist things in the game. So it's not all about shooting, it's about helping your team to win. Like there I spotted that guy, so if someone else shoots that guy, no, I killed him. Oh, no, someone killed me. Uh, if I spot someone and they get killed, I actually get points for, for pointing that person out. So uh, you can support your team in many different ways. And you can see that even this map uh, contains you know, more open areas as well. Uh, I'll actually see if I can join a squad. Yeah, there you go. So now I'm in a squad, uh, which gives me more spawn points, uh, which is always positive. So let's see here. So the enemy is arming the crate again. So I need to be a bit careful now and see if I can disarm it. Uh, probably hiding somewhere around here. Oh, there you go. No, fail. So you need to be fast as well. You can't just uh, run around and help people. You need to defend yourself as well. Uh, you can see also one of those guys had a laser sight. So you can easily see if you get blinded by a laser, you better take cover. Uh, we also have uh, under-sling uh, flashlights on some of the weapons which also adds to the gameplay, both helping you to see better, but also blinding people in dark environments. It's very efficient if, you, if you're good at using it. And of course, you can see that with a laser, I can turn that on or off. So all the, all the gadgets you have in the game are very dynamic, uh, and they work, hopefully work in the way that you want them to work. Also have dynamic lights everywhere. You can see I can take out all these lights. Um, so in general, we try to create a, uh, a living world uh, so it doesn't feel static when you run around in it. Okay, there's a friend. Uh, let's see. So you have more dynamic objects you know, here and there. So this, this is what we call uh, visual covers. Uh, it, you can both shoot through them uh, with bullet penetration and you all can also take them down really, really fast but they still provide a vision cover. Here you can see me getting blinded by a laser. And I was a friendly, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, not friendly and not friendly. A lot of guys with a grenade in there. Let's see if it works. Uh, no, we didn't. Oh, there you go. I actually killed someone with that grenade. Oh, slaughter. Uh, you can see that group actually played as a squad. They came through that. Uh, alleyway in a group, which is very, very efficient uh, instead of trying to do those things on your own. So it's, it's a game that you can play as a lone wolf, but also uh, if you want to be even more efficient, you can play it as a team. Uh, playing it as a team is always more uh, efficient and always more fun than to just run around on your own. But then again, if you don't care about you know, friendship, then play the game on your own. Oh, here's a big fight. So I marked that guy and I got someone else killed him, but I got a spot bonus. I also got some suppression points because if you get suppressed, uh, you actually lose, lose some of the vision. Uh, you blur someone's vision by shooting close to that person, which is also helping other people to take that person out. So it's, uh, it's actually quite cool when you put all these things together. Uh, oh, whoops, enemy tank. Let's see if I can pick up my... RPG, and there you go. So I hit that tank once, but you know, shooting it from the front, it's actually quite sturdy. Uh, I missed it. You see that he actually 
had a smoke grenade. There you go. So I got a savior score, 20 points for save, saving someone else getting shot from that guy. Whoops. Whew. That was close. Uh, no. So, let be careful. Okay, I'm out of ammo now for the RPG and he's seen me, so I need to be careful. I can sneak around here. I also have a repair tool. So with this tool, I can actually repair my own vehicles and make sure they get back on, on track. But I can also, if I'm really, really sneaky, I can actually move behind that enemy tank and take it apart. So I can actually, actually take down a tank with my repair tool. I wouldn't recommend it if you, un unless you're crazy, but I'm crazy, so I'll do it. If I can do this, and if I'm lucky, I would actually take it down. Oh, he bailed. So I got the guy who was in the vehicle to get out. So now I stole his vehicle. Uh, oops. So I'm losing health here. I need to get out. Oh, okay. crap. So there's a lot of stuff that can happen in, during, a, during a round and, and as you can see there's, there's no place you can be safe, there's always a way to take someone out, out. Um, and there, you can never feel safe. Uh, the cool thing is that it's also always a way to get back at people, so you don't have to worry about uh, not having the right means to get back at your enemy, uh, because you can just take a new, another kit or equip your kit with a different set of weapons uh, and all these things uh, together is uh, creating the what we call the, the battlefield experience um, you need to be careful here no, I got through here. so you can see this guy that has a star next to his uh, he is my squad leader, so this is the guy I can uh, spawn on at any time, and he can also give orders uh, to tell me what to do. Uh, and this adds another layer uh, of team play to the uh, experience, which is really cool. Hmm. Okay, I hear a tank. I don't know where it is. Oh, enemy. That was bad. I'll go in and pick another kit. I can pick the support kit. Uh, and with this kit I have some other cool things. First of all I have now I have a gun with oh well tank. So I have some really cool explosives in this kit. So I'll go down on the ground. So this is my C4. Which means that I, if I get around back of this vehicle. Ah crap. If I can get close to the vehicle I can just throw a C4 at, on it and uh, then detonate it and take out the vehicle on my own. Oh! I spawned in too close to an enemy. I actually spawned on a teammate and he was close to that enemy, so if I want to feel safe when I spawn in, I should spawn in uh, at the home base. Uh, but I'm not a coward, so I won't do that. Okay, I'll try that crazy move again. So I'm here. Oh, 
gate, by the way. We need to take that dragon out. <laughs> so I took it out and I took myself out, but at least I killed it. I also took out two other guys, so that gave me, gave, got me a lot of points. That's good. <laughs> So look at the scoreboard, uh, I'm not doing that well. Eight, eight kills, 11 deaths. Oh. Double kill with my handgun. And of course I can pick up the kits from the people I kill, so I pick up a nice big heavy machine gun here and I'll use it on this guy. No, oh, someone else killed me. I do. You can also see the dog tags that we have up in the corner. So one of the dog tags will be your name uh, and the other dog tag you can customize yourself, which is really cool. Uh, so you go into... Uh, Okay, sorry. Uh, after this. And what you can do as well is you can customize the dog tag, but that also means that you, when you kill someone with a knife, you will actually uh, steal that dog tag. Oh, crap. Oh, and here you can see that I got revived by a uh, teammate. And I can now in B3, I can choose to ignore a revive. So I don't get revived in, in an area where I don't want to be. And I guess we won. Yeah. So we defended the MCOM stations from getting blown up and we won the round. So that was a quick look at one of the maps, Grand Bazaar uh, from Battlefield 3. And uh, hope you enjoyed it and the season.